So setup is an excellent application bundle of applications on Mac OS that lets you have a ton of stuff for $9.99 a month. US, US. But recently they announced that they have more iPad OS applications or availability of iPad OS versions of applications. Today I'm going to set that up on my iPad so that you can see how to do it and just give you a tour of setup. They actually did this for Ulysses already, but that was a custom thing. Buckle up. So here we are in setup and we can go to available on iOS to see what is available. To do is available. I've tried that before, it was pretty good. Um, Gemini for duplicate files. I'm not sure what that would do on iPad. Oh well. Ulysses, I've already got that set up. My node paste as uh, a clipboard manager thing. And then SQL Studio, that's actually the one I'm most interested in. Um, because there's not a good database application for your iPad and iCode. And that's probably one of the things that I keep coming back to and thinking, oh, I just I can't get at it. I can't get at it. And I'm not quite there on terminal yet. So how do we set this up? First thing I have to do to set this up is actually go to the setup site. I don't have Safari open. There's always someone who asks, so this clicky, clicky keyboard is the N Pro 2, if you're wondering. There's a video, I'll link it somewhere. So we're gonna go to setup and let's log in. Yeah, it's still up. And autofill. So I need need to add a device because see I've got my wife's Mac. Book Air and then my Mac here. So let's buy an extra seat. Four ninety nine a month. Perfect. Sign in on new device. So I'm just looking up their directions. Let's start with. iOS app, it gives me a QR code. It's a recording on my iPad. Oh, pull this off. We need camera too now. Camera. And just scan a QR code. View an app store. Get. Open. There you go. I've now got it. Unlock full version. Okay. And I've got to unlock it. Let's go back to QR codes. Camera. Where is it? Open. Open. There you go. And you can see I added another device right here. That was pretty easy. So now I've got a full featured SQL client on my iPad via setup, so I don't have to pay for it because I think SQL Pro Studio was actually fairly expensive. What are the in-app purchases here? Yeah, 139. That's what's kept me from it, 139. But now I get to try it out. So we're gonna see a review of SQL Pro Studio at some point for the iPad because this is kind of one of the last things that I really wanted for my iPad. Um, it'd be interesting to see if we can get some of their other stuff. Do I need them? I don't think so, because those are for different databases. But the Studio One should do it for me. It's pretty easy, as you can see, to set up the setup stuff on your iPad. That's it, just gotta buy another device. So if you liked the video today, you can give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, you can go below, hit subscribe, and then the bell, so YouTube lets you know what's happening. And then the other options to support the channel are number one, I have a Skillshare course on TickTick, -tick, which is my task manager of choice. I'll link that below. And number two, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale to support the channel and just make sure videos keep coming. Have an excellent day.